Hello and welcome back to Canon's Red Line Challenge. The competition is now closed and judging is about to begin. Right behind this very door are the judges and the ultimate winning image. How exciting. Unfortunately, my partner in crime, Lorenz, couldn't be here today, but I've captured his soul and put it on this device right here. Say hello to everyone, Lorenz. Hi, everyone. Kai, how are you? I am super excited to get this going. But I'm going to come back to you a bit later for the final round of judging. So for now, I'm going to give you a high five, yeah? See you later. The Light in the Dark theme has ignited your creative photography with thousands of entries and not all from the same person, with everything from moody street scenes, neon soap portraits, light painted landscapes, abstract action and everything in between. But who gets to decide who wins this brand new shiny bundle of Canon gear and a mentor assignment with the man himself, Canon ambassador Lorenz Holder? Let's meet the judges. In a photograph, I'm usually looking for creativity, originality, and communication of an idea to get the photographer's perspective on the situation that they're in. I'm always looking for the challenge, the challenge of the, the stereotype, the challenge of the expected. We called this competition a challenge on purpose. It was a brief. You need to look at a brief and study a brief and, and think about how you're going to respond to it. Um, and that was really the, the background of this whole challenge. What I look for is something that really leaves me um, questioning what I perceive, something that takes me on a journey and something that's really thought provoking that leaves me in a position that is very different from where I arrived at the photograph. The judges are down to the last pass and reviewing the large prints one more time before they flesh out who scores highest in reflecting the challenge, light in the dark, creativity, impact, and technical prowess. I don't envy their task. There are so many good images in there and I never expected it to be that high, like the level of photography. It was an exceptional technical quality. Even though it's an amateur competition, the technical abilities are really high. I was happy to see different interpretations and so many unique interpretations of the theme. Um, I was so happy to see so many images in color. Looking at different interpretations and constantly seeing things in a very unique way that I haven't seen before, is something that just keeps me on my feet and it keeps me inspired. It's absolutely wonderful to finally see all of the, the shortlisted photos printed and hung almost like an exhibition. Hmm, the thing I like about this shot is that it kind of reminds me of my driving test. <laughs> what, what strikes you about this shot? There's so much going on. There's, yes, there's the light and the dark, but there's also the action, the car slightly off the ground. There's whether this was actually a live race or did the photographer set it up? There's a lot of discussion about where the light is angled. Is it on the car? Is it on the faces? Is it from up above? It's one of those photos where you just you can't quite get to the answer of how it was shot. And I think that's really intriguing. So we've got from 500 to 20 images. What is the whole process? We have a very clear guidelines to follow. So you have to be at all times reminded of what this criteria is in order to edit the images down to 20. The judging process is really enjoyable and interesting. It's been fascinating to see where people's opinions diverge and also how much consensus there is. Well, it's interesting comparing this to, say, other landscape photos. The landscape photos are, you know, quite still, and then this, as you mentioned, has got motion to it. And the more you look at it, the more you kind of just look at more details, and it's almost like it's moving. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean, and it's um, it's a poetic or lyrical image. You know, it has more qualities to it than just a still photograph. It has staying power. When you walk away from this image, it's still going to be there. One thing that's missing here, black and white photos. Here's a black and white selfie. Boom, winning shot.
So judges, you've got Canon's first red line challenge. We've gone from 36,000 images. Now here comes the difficult part. We've now got to pick the final image. Over to you, Lorenz. Thanks a lot, Kai. So one of the final images is that festival shot. The more you look at it, the more layers and almost like little stories within the story of the image that you see. There aren't many pictures that have so many people and I think it's really refreshing. There's a lot going on in that photo that for a photographer to try and control would almost be impossible, but they've still seen the art in the photo and the, the talent that's in it and submitted it into the competition, which is great. So let's talk about the bridge shot. It's the type of image that you look at and then you kind of glance at it again, you know, trying to answer these questions that they are kind of sort of coming from the back of your mind, as it were. I think it's a metaphorical image. I think it's an image about possibility. There were so many pictures of car trail lights um, in the competition, and this was the only one, I think, that came to this stage. Surprisingly, it's all a bit civilised, isn't it? I was expecting a bit more fisticuffs, table flipping. The next image is more or less like an artsy picture. What, what do we see here? It's an interesting choice of words, because I think that was our first impression, was it's almost a piece of art when we looked at this image. For me, it almost feels like I'm going into the emotional state of the photographer. By not being a literal image, like I'm not underwater diving, I'm escaping, I'm not in the, in the breach going somewhere. Here I can bounce all types of range of emotions that I'm feeling, so it allows me to kind of really dive into it. I think that speaks to kind of like using the camera as a tool, right? It's about executing an effect that you want to create, and I think this photographer's done that really well. It's really exquisitely done for me. Hold on a minute, where's that black and white selfie gone? I thought that's a winning image. This picture, is it an architectural shot? Is it wildlife? Is it a zoo? I felt that I could, if I was there myself, I could take this picture. So I was questioning that. I was questioning in comparison to the other images. Is it about the creativity of the photographer or what happens to be in front of them? It has impact and it poses a question, but it's not trying too hard. This image for me is just quite simple and um, that really appeals to me. Okay, judges, sorry to do this, but we have run out of time. So we have to pick the winning image. Lorenz and Co, have you picked it? Kai, we got one. It was incredible hard to judge. We had so many good entries in so many different kind of genres. And we got the winner. The winner is... Hold on a minute. The Bridge in the Clouds. All five of the final pictures were great. The winning picture felt like the one that was most on point with the brief. It was really a very well executed picture, like technically, but because it was going into nowhere, it also had those uh, emotions. And I think that's when Laura and me came on the same level. <laughs> it's a picture that was engaging emotionally for me. And for me, the emotional value of an image is one that I put a lot of weight on personally. Um, and for me, it's one that really has that impact. It's one that I keep coming back to. It's technically really competent. It leaves everyone feeling something about what the photographer was trying to say. To do simple way, you know, something is very simple. To do it well, you know, it's extremely difficult. Yay, we've got a winner. His name is Pieter Skripjic. I'm going to call him up right now to see where he can send all that fancy swag. Oh, is that Pieter? Oh, oh, you know my name. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the Canon Red Line Challenge. Just calling you up because um, your shot, the bridge photo, has won the challenge. You're the winner. I got the words, guys. <laughs> really? <laughs> really, really. You have won all of this fancy gear and a mentor assignment oh. with Lorenz Holder. Okay, I'm simply can't believe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shall I say thank you very much? I'm extremely happy. Ooh, give me your nose. Okay. Yes, there we are. So that's it for Canon's Red Line Challenge. Congratulations to Pieter Skripic for winning all that fancy gear. Now all I have to do is um, find a trolley big enough. <laughs>